Hey everybody, what's up? Devin here, back with another, finally another stand showcase. Today, we're doing Purple Haze, finally, because I know I'm so late to the, I'm always late to the party. But my reviews are so good, you guys wait for them. <laughs> Anyways, we're joining my friend Corbin, who's helping me out with this video. Um, Purple Haze is probably the coolest stand they've added so far. They did a really good job on it. They did way better than they did with the hand, not gonna lie. Which, the hand was cool, but I mean, I'd rather, Purple Haze is cooler. So... I, re I give props to the stand. They did a really good, a really good job with it. Uh, anyways, let's get on to the move set. So this first move is called Virus Barrage. It's basically just a standard barrage move, but it actually has like cool noises. So, anything with like below a C below a B in defense cannot really handle it. It'll be an insta kill. So it's pretty good for you know taking out enemies quick. So this next move is called Poison Grab. You just press R and you hit them. This poisons them for the time being. They get poisoned, I think, for about, I'd say, 30 seconds. And But the thing is, if you if you notice this, and I'll get onto it in a minute, there are little capsules on its arms. When you punch someone like that, you lose one capsule. So once you lose all your capsules, it goes to a heavy punch, which I'm not going to show because I'm not going to waste my time with that. But if you ever get Purple Haze and you use all your capsules, the R move won't be a poison grab. It'll be a heavy punch. So that's, uh, you know, insight for you. So this next move is called Killer Infection. You press T and one of your capsules shoots out and boom. Sorry, it... <laughs> well, <laughs> so what it does is you hit them with the capsule. And if it does hit, you know, it starts poisoning them. But if it doesn't hit, it creates a little bubble. So, you know, you know, it's like a little bubble of poison. So this next move is called Poison Vaccine. So really quickly, I got to use the R move for this. You poison them, right? So let's say they start taking damage, right? You press Y and they no longer take damage. The poisons. So if you use like, if you lose like the F move, which I'll show you in a minute, and you want people to be able to walk around in it, you hit them with Y and they can walk around without being affected by the poison, which is actually really cool. I really like this move. This next move is called Poison Bubble, which is probably my favorite move uh, with this stand. You press F, you need three capsules for this one. And luckily enough, we have three. You press F and everything in this, um, everything in this bubble besides me will start taking damage. Since he's vaccinated, he won't. So we're going to do another, like, since he's vaccinated, this is what I was talking about. He won't take damage, but we're going to do another, you know, I'm going to show you guys what it would be like if he did take damage. So here's that. So showing you what bubble would be like without, you know, the um, vaccine. Here's what this would be like. They'd start taking five damage every second. A good, and they start slowing down. If you want to know a good combo tip for this move. So if they get out, press R if you still have any capsules left and bring them back in here. Because then they start taking 10 damage per second, which is basically an instant kill. So it's a pretty powerful move, and I really like it. So on to the next one. So this next move is called Poisonous Rage. You press H, and anyone who tries to attack you can't. You will not take damage. It lasts for, I think, 10 to 15 seconds. I'm not exactly sure. But it's basically the easiest way to kill someone if you can use it. Oh, this damage is... Okay, so I guess you can be countered. But besides countering, it's essentially an instant kill. So that's really um, one of the final moves for Purple Haze. On to the final move. So this next move is called Capsule Regeneration. Really quickly, I'm going to hit it with an R so the capsule actually goes away. He won't be poisoned since you reverted back to normal like the last second. But if you press H and J at the same time, if you didn't notice right there, a capsule just came back. So you have to do that. Once you use H, you press J, and then boom, one of your capsules comes back. You can only do it one at a time, which kind of sucks. But it's still good for, you know, getting your moves back. Preferably, I reset because it's just easier. But H and J is also good. I mean, I wouldn't use it. But if you want to, go to. Anyway, since that's the final move, besides, of course, the sand jump, which really doesn't matter. Let's uh, get on with a 1v1. Alright, let's go. Okay, I win. I think. I gotta stay away from you for the 7 page Muna, but. Got him. GG's. 
So overall, it's a pretty good stand. It has really good destructive power with an A in destructive power, a B in speed, but an E in durability, which really does balance it out. Also, the for really good balancing, since the since you know these disappear, the if the capsule doesn't disappear, this stand would be way too overpowered, and they'd probably have to nerf it way more. Um, yet you, you can get it through the stand arrow. I believe it has a four percent chance of spawning. It's a A tier, so you'll have a four percent chance of finding it. So. You'll be able, it's a pretty, it's not really common, but you have a pretty good chance of finding it, I'd say. But overall, I think it's the best stand they've added since probably, um, Mr. President, maybe. They've added D4C, actually. They haven't added many good stands, but this is definitely one of them. Purple Haze is a great stand they've added, and I'm so happy they did add it. And, uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, feel free to leave a like and sub. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.